Hello, Jane here with the Friday update. We are looking at Holly Hen Mako Bisque that Ryan and Sarah have painted. Don't they look cool? And that is Mako Bisque 1597. It's quite a big piece, isn't it? It's quite lovely. And this is Rudy Rooster. 1596, yep, 1596. These are a project on the Mako website using element glazes and they just, the glazes just do amazing things. That's got um, cascades in it and it's just gorgeous. That glaze combination is just awesome. And they were painted with stroke and coat. And this is another project that you can find on the Mako website with the hairball bunny. Mako Bisque 1118. A little bit of a glaze combination. Again, Ryan and Sarah have painted these. And aren't they fun? And these are the uh, whittled crested bird and then just the round whittled bird. And that one is Mako Bisque 1601. And this one is Mako Bisque 1600. Aren't they just lovely? Katie painted those ones. Very gorgeous. Okay, hello. So we have got workshops going on uh, later this month. We have got the clay prints run by Kerry. That's happening on the 22nd of January and we still have some places left in that. And then later on in the month on the 30th, we have uh, Cutters for Clay here and they are showing you how to use their tools. And I think we've got three spaces left on the Tuesday workshop. Uh, stock, is, stock is challenging, isn't it? It's just as soon as you think you, you, you've got a handle on it and it's all working out okay, which we are, we're good. You can see lots and lots and lots of good stock behind us. But this nonsense that's going on in the Red Sea at the moment and diverting our... Uh, our ships are getting diverted so we have got um bisque we've got two containers that are taking the scenic route around africa at the moment and i think our boat got diverted en route to the red sea so it's one of those ones that's taking a little bit longer uh, than if it was a direct um scheduled route so we've got Mako Bisque uh, is one of those containers and on that one uh, there's the new uh, posy vases, blossom vases, flora vases, um, and then scalloped and mosaic and chevron bowls and mugs. Those are on there. The new um, Fred Rooster and Ethel Hen, those are on there, as well as all of the good um, reliable stuff like um the small garden mushroom um that's very popular the faceted elephant um the cactus planter the barrel cactus planter faceted cat faceted dog no mug textured bud vase lots of good stuff um that's all scheduled i don't know i don't think they know for sure end of the month um just got to wait and see and then the other container that happens to be on exactly the same boat, um, despite being ordered uh, a chunk of time apart. Uh, we've got grape shaped vases, um, Mako Bisque 885, got PB111, the dog, um, all the butterflies, um, which we've had in our range ever since the beginning. Um, the CX704, 705 and 706, small, medium and large butterfly nightmare to fire but um has been a long-term popular item right from the very 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 beginning those shapes as has the small vase the cx 713 um 
and that's on there as well as the cute fairy the cute unicorn uh, heart trinket plate which is the pb172 um zen lantern all kinds of good stuff that's all due end of the month i'm gonna say and uh yeah i don't know what's going on with shipping at the moment something weird is going on our freight from america that was supposed to be with us our paint order that's supposed to be with us shortly um the boat didn't sail i don't know whether that's because the onward route through the red sea wasn't going to happen or whether there's mechanical i don't know but um it didn't sail on the 10th when it was supposed to it's now sailing on the 30th which for us is a challenge which means that uh we need to get stuff air freighted to make sure that we have everything that we need for half term which we will have because i've ordered it and it's all getting organized and it should be with us by next friday um or next well yeah next friday is when they when they're telling me at the moment so we have solutions it's just challenges that i didn't really want or expect but hey ho we can do this can't we um fun stuff coming up we've got pottery camp dates that we put on the website we've got those as may the 13th and 14th and also repeating exactly the same thing on um, may the 20th and 21st um those have gone up on the website haven't got a scooby what we're doing yet but rachel morrison and myself are off to make his pottery camp Mm, week after next um, to do their Mako pottery camp and to pick up some ideas and uh, get a bit of an injection of Mako things and Mako thinking which should be exciting and Steph our lovely Steph has been doing a new customer training by Zoom today um, with um, some new customers which is jolly good and our lovely ryan also did the training with her as well which is um all useful stuff so he knows a little bit of what you guys know now which is good uh steph is also going to be doing some studio skills workshops and we're going to try and do those as two hour workshops by zoom and the first one um will be on the website shortly she's just working on some uh, on the sample and that's going to be the 26th of february which is a monday and it's going to be we're going to try 11 to 1 so 11 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon as a two-hour studio skills workshop the idea is it's not um a project like um like pottery camp it's a whole bunch of just general skills that you would use in the studio painting skills and samples that we're create we're creating a sample piece for you to show um, your customers different painting decorating techniques and you just brushing up on some of your skills it might be an excellent thing for you to do with your staff um, or just a little refresher for yourself and just a little, little bit of a inspirational thing um, to then sort of spur you on to doing some um, you know projects using these uh, specific techniques that we're giving you but there should be more details of that coming up shortly so this has been rather longer than i thought i apologize for that take care of yourselves folks and i shall see you soon